If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Jmeter series. In this season 4 episode 9, we are going to see about the remaining variables in JSR223. In last couple of videos, we have already covered context, where props, sample result, sampler, log and label and also we have covered previous. Now in this video, we are going to cover file name, parameters, arguments and out variable in JSR223. So there is no theory for these variables. Directly we are going with the demo. Let us see a simple example using those variables. So this is my simple test plan to demonstrate the variables, parameters, args and out. If you want to pass the variable into your JSR223 sampler, then you can make use of the parameters field. Now let us see what is inside the user defined variables. So in the user defined variables, assume you have a set of variables such as username, password and the environment. These variables could be from the post processor or pre processor or some config element as well. If you want to pass those values to your JSR223, then you can make use of the parameters field. If you see here, we have three variables passing separated by a space. And if you want to read these values, you can make use of either the parameters or the args. First, let us see the args. So here the line number five, it will print the total number of arguments we are passing into the JSR223. So here we are passing three. So it will just print the value three. And if you want to access the first element or second element or nth element, you can make use of the integer. So this is an array. So it will start with a zero. And if you want to fetch the first item, you can use args square brackets zero. And if you want to fetch the last item, you can use the args dot length minus one. Line number nine, which is a simple for loop, it will just iterate over and over for the array and then it will just print the items. And line number 14, if you see, we are making use of the parameters keyword. The parameter keyword just displays all the values. And here we are also making use of the out keyword. So out.println, it will just make use of the console to print whatever value you are sending. Now let me execute this. As you see in the screen, it is first printing the total number of arguments we are passing, which is three. And the first argument is admin, last argument is stage. And it will just uh, iterate over and over and it will just print everything. And then you can see the parameters. So parameters also, it is printing the value as is. Now let us disable this and enable the file name. So file name is where you will be writing your Groovy script using the external editor such as Notepad++ or VS Code. And you can mention the file name, absolute file name or relative file name. And if you associate the file name, that file will get executed. Whatever you write inside this JMeter IDE will be ignored. So right now I have some simple uh, one line uh, println statement in my Groovy script. So now let me execute this. So this particular two statements in the IDE, line number three and line number four will be ignored and only the code from the external file will be executed. So that is the difference between the file name and the IDE. So that's the case of my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and please feel free to join my QA Insights community. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.